Hi everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Fish and Chicks. Um, I will hope uh, that today's content will give you some inspiration on what kind of food you can give your tilapia. Today's episode will be dedicated to all Ukrainians around the world that have a stressing time right now because of Putin's aggression and unnecessary violence. Yeah, and let's just feed some fish because it's fun. Whoa! So in today's episode we will try out some foods on our tilapia here and see what they like best. So each of the food types will be rated on a scale from 0 to 100. So here are some of the stuff that we will try out in this video. So commercial pellets, broccoli, onion tops, pet fish food, clementine, duckweed and um, uh, type of food that we created in another episode of this series. And on to the banana. So uh, bite size is important. So um, remember that tilapia can't really chew so they swallow everything whole. So we try and adapt um, bite size to the uh, size of fish that we were feeding. Banana. Let's try if they'll eat this bread and also some of the screen stuff on the onion. So let's try the onion first. And over to the bigger girls and boys here. So hi, wanna have some onion? down the sandwich so this is uh, sort of proper chicken food so let's see if the aquatic chickens will have some At least they're hungry. Fish, I think. Uh, whoa! Yeah. In the wild, these types of fish will eat just about anything. We know from the scientific literature that, uh, like, if uh, zooplankton is in abundance, they will eat mostly that. If, uh, yeah, plants are available, they eat that and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah growing here is some kind of pond plant that i picked up uh, like years ago from a garden store and uh, yeah here it is not sure about the name sadly but yeah let's see if the fish will have it Today we'll test broccoli stems and also some clementines. So this clementine is a little bit too boring 
it's sort of partly dry, but perhaps the fish won't mind. So let's try broccoli stems first. Yeah, sort of okay. Some clementine. That's sort of more yummy, it seems. Over to the other tank with slightly smaller fish, and let's see. Perhaps not so much. Fruit. In other settings where you grow your tilapia outside in ponds, uh, you might put horse manure or uh, cow poop in the water to create an algal bloom that will also benefit uh, zooplankton. And then the fish can eat that. And then some normal pet fish type food. Here's some duckweed. looks uh, oh, they're gonna like it this frozen food uh, was created uh, while recording episode one of fresh and chicks so be sure to check that out it's on sustainability and yeah here's the feed and let's uh, uh, take a piece and uh, go to the fish So here's the smaller tank with the juveniles in it, so let's see if they want to have some. And the somewhat bigger juveniles. And last but not least, the bigger ones. And then always, um, it's important to wash the hands. Our next trial will be, um, in fact, these guys. So uh, first, green peas, frozen, and then some uh, wheat. They eat some at least. I reckon the frozen peas will be a little bit too large for the fish we gave the wheat, so let's try with these bigger ones. To conclude this episode, uh, one could say that uh, tilapia is sort of an aquatic chicken and they will truly eat just about anything um, but remember the bite size and the lack of chewing capabilities and last um, 
a special greeting to all the Fish and Chicks fans in India, Cambodia, Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam. It's nice to see that uh, even on the other side of the world there's people uh, sort of interested in the same stuff. That's all for today folks, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, share, all that and see you next week. New episodes of Fish and Chicks will be posted weekly on Sundays at uh, quarter to 9pm Central European time. Ciao!